Welcome to our estate sale preview this week. This week we are in the prestigious Cobblestone neighborhood, which is a gated little area. The house we're doing is actually in a gated area in a gated area, which is kind of confusing, but it's a wonderful, huge, beautiful house. Uh, we're going to start kind of in the front bedroom with not much in it. Uh, as you can see, we have lots and lots of silk flower arrangements, greenery, and lots of holiday decor. <coughs> we have three closets full of nice women's clothing. Everything in this house is just really beautiful, really pretty. Uh, I mean, lots of nice stuff. Um, in the library, we've got uh, kind of over here, we've got some collector's plates. We have little rascals and bass fishing collector's plates. Up on the fireplace mantle, we have an end of the trail um, bronze. Plus, we also have several Austin sculptures. The picture over the fireplace came from Mathis Brothers. It's a dog wearing a smoking jacket. It's a really cute little decorator um, painting from Mathis Brothers. We also have uh, three NASCAR diecast cars, which are the UPS Stats NASCAR. We also have lots and lots of figurines. These are Duncan figurines. Um, Lots of African-American uh, early 1900 scenes. You know, these are really collectible. Uh, most of these are limited edition uh, figurines in the office. We also have this hooker desk. This is uh, all hooker, solid mahogany, really pretty, really in good shape. We have a file cabinet and this computer. And also, the nicest purse we have in the house, we have a blue Brahmin bag. Uh, you know, the blue's a little bit different to come by. You don't see those as often as you do the browns. In the master bedroom, we've got uh, most of the furniture in the house, except for the hooker desk. Almost everything is Thomasville. We have a Thomasville Berger. Uh, we also have lots of decorator greenery. We have uh, lots of silver brass. We have some uh, this really cool reef holder and reef. Over here on this table, we have an insane amount of ammunition. It's pretty much everything, everything from 410 shotguns. We've got uh, 22, we have 357 bullets. I mean, it's a lot of different ammunition. So if you need some bullets, this is the place to come. We've got this really cute pressed antique oak pressed back rocker and the Santa Fe picture. And then we've got this armoire. This is just gorgeous with the flame mahogany front. This is also by Th uh, Thomasville. Extremely pretty. Uh, and we have a Schwinn exercise bike. And in the closets, I'm not really going to show you down there, but there's two huge closets packed with really nice women's clothing. Uh, we've got some really pretty linens. And now into the living area. Okay, in the dining area, we have a Thomasville, it's a Thomasville table, eight matching chairs, and the matching break front china cabinet. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, in the china cabinet, we have some Noritake china, and everything's mahogany with a flame mahogany pattern. Uh, we have a little Maitland Smith floral arrangement on the middle of the table. It's just really nice. Everything's just perfect and clean and gorgeous. Here we have a pair of Thomasville Curio cabinets that match. These are oversized, really nice. They have the little touch sensors. When you touch the hinge, the lights will go up and down three or four different levels. They're really neat. Inside the cabinets, we've got uh, Burlington Santa Fe plates. We also have some more of those Duncan figurines. In this china cabinet, we have some Movado clocks and a Canon camera. And now in the formal area, we have a pair of matching Thomasville sofas. They're both sofas, both Thomasville matching, perfect condition. Look like they've never been uh, sat on. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, in the corner, cute little table with a matching lamp. And we have this huge crane painting. They bought this at Mathis Brothers. It still has a sticker on the back where they paid almost $1,800 for this painting. It's much larger than it's going to look in the video. It's actually a really pretty good size. It's about three foot by four foot. Uh, on the sofa, for everybody who wanted why well, I didn't mention this, we have a Browning. Uh, this is an A-bolt rifle. Um, these are real collectible. Most of the time, these are T-bolt. This is an A-bolt, which is actually kind of rare. Uh, we've got the mahogany coffee table and the matching end table over here. And then these are a pair of Thomasville... 
club chairs, uh, really pretty blue and cream colored. This is a really great color that matches everything. I mean, these are really super chairs, very comfortable. In the next room, in the kitchen, we're gonna come around the corner. Another Thomasville piece, this is a Thomasville server. This matches the dining room set. We had to move it out of the entryway when we set up our sold area. So this goes to the dining room set. It is absolutely gorgeous condition. On top of it, we've got this pair of lamps with have lions on the base and this incredible uh, floral arrangement that's hard to see in the video, but it's all etched glass. It's an etched glass vase with floral in it. Next, we've got this little kitchenette set with a faux marble top. This is made by Ashley. It's got the table and the four chairs and lots of cute little greenery. And in the little bar area, watch your step. We've got it steps down. We've got some bar glassware. And on top of the bar, we've got uh, one of the three Remington statues we've got. We've got this one, which is the Wicked Pony. We also have several Austin sculptures, which are, have a Western theme to them. And lots of nice little clear glassware. Kind of as we pan around, this is the den area. And we're going to go over. There's some nice teak patio furniture out on the patio. We also have this iron easel. Over here, kind of in the corner, we have two more Remington bronzes. We have uh, Coming Through the Rye and Stampede. And we've got this really pretty floral arrangement. Lots of great decor and accessories. Another huge Austin sculpture in this nice iron bird cage. Up on the fireplace mail, we have, uh, this is a signed print by G. Harvey. His, the signed prints, you know, normally signed prints aren't very exciting. This guy's signed prints actually really actually do sell for some pretty good money. It's a gorgeous picture. Um, we also have all this little cute little decor. A lot of holiday, lots of pumpkin type stuff. Uh, CDs. And then we have this entire entertainment center full of electronics. We have a flat panel TV or flat screen TV. It's an older projection plus lots of electronics. Next thing we've got, we have this really pretty rug and we have the sectional. The sectional is also Thomasville, as you guessed. It's a huge sectional. It actually has an extra piece in it. It's bigger than it looks in the video. And the trunk in front is also Thomasville. Still has the Thomasville tag when they bought it uh, from Mathis Brothers. And the sectional is in perfect condition. I mean, everything they had was very, they were very meticulous on everything they had. This is an amazing sectional. And I think they said the sectional was over 5,000 when they bought it new. We've got um, over here a pair of wall hangings. These are John Richards. Uh, these, you know, they still sell them at Mathis Brothers. I think these were over $300 each for Mathis Brothers. It still has a sticker on the back with this huge Torcher lamp. We have four more Thomasville chairs, or these are Thomasville bar stools. Uh, really cute, really nice. And in the kitchen, we have lots of cute little accessories, lots of nice little decor and nice kitchen items. We're not selling the fridge, so don't get too excited about the fridge, but we are selling the one in the garage. We've also got some Pyrex and some Corning ware, and you know, what we call typical kitchen wares. Okay, now we're gonna go upstairs to the little game room. Okay. Yes, I'm winded. Uh, we have another big screen TV. We also have a pair of Altec Lansing speakers. These are model 301s. And right here in the game table, this is a three-in-one game table. Couldn't find the manufacturer, but it's really a nice one. Most of them are kind of cheap and flimsy. This is a really well-built. It's going to be kind of hard to tell through the video, but the legs are all carved. There's actually leaves and flowers. I mean, they're actually really pretty. And it has a snicker table, plus it has this top. You can have it green side up when you're playing poker, or you put it the other side, and it's all natural wood. It's really pretty. We also have these four color uh, iron and wood bar stools. This cute little neon picture that has dogs playing pool. A little bitty mini fridge and a little uh, microwave over there. And now we're going to go to the garage. And 
and at the kind of the far end that's a monstrous mirror that we're selling like everything it looks smaller than what it really is i think it's four foot by five foot it was what's hanging over the buffet in the utility room you know all your kind of typical cleaners and everything and in the garage not selling the truck that's uh one of the family members still lives in the house but we have lots of kind of miscellaneous kitchen wares, lots of these little character pans. We have some gardening stuff. We have an eight foot uh, step ladder and we have this entertainment center. These are all priced separate. So we have two corners and three uh, middle sections. So you can buy as much as you need with some Budweiser Steins over from the shelves, this recliner. And then we have some chemicals over on the far table. And then we have all these shelves with fun little camping gear. We have some camping lanterns and then also some stoves, a few tools, and then this little refrigerator over here. And that's kind of the short tour. So we'd certainly love to see you. This is really a super, super nice house. The house is going on the market after the sale. So if you're looking for a house, this is your first chance to see it come up. Also, the stuff inside is nicer than what we get at most of our sales. So this is definitely a sale you want to come to if you're looking for some nice traditional furniture. And that's pretty much it. We certainly hope to see you this weekend. Bye-bye.